What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. You're here with Blackstone and Wonder Studio. Today we're doing a little home cooked dinner for the girlfriend, you know. We get home earlier than her from work, so uh, it's nice to have a little bit of dinner on the table when she comes home so she doesn't have to worry about fixing something when she's tired, and you know. So today we're doing a little bit of quinoa salad, some Cajun spiced salmon, and a little bit of greens on top. Alright, we're using a little bit of air fryer for our our salmon today and I know it's not traditional but you know it's whatever um, we're doing some mixed beans and some peppers and some quinoa so yeah if you like what you if you like what you see please um, subscribe and come back for see more videos like this all right let's get to it appreciate you guys guys let's get it started so this part of the video I am um, getting my quinoa ready to be cooked um, I'm doing one is supposed to be one cup of quinoa to two cups of water all right so I added a little bit more quinoa because I was doing it for two people and even that was the, oh, the finished recipe was more than two people so one cup should be more than enough. One cup of quinoa to two cups of water. And what you want to do is bring that to a boil and down to a simmer and cook it to your the package that way the package specify it. From my package it was about eight to nine minutes, give or take. You just want to cook it until it's nice and fluffy and yeah just bring it off the stove and let it continue off the stove to let the steam finish cooking the rest of your quinoa and it come out perfect now ideally what you want to do is you want to put your water get your water to a boil season your water and once it, your pot comes to a boil you want to add your quinoa and turn that down to a medium heat and once you done, you do that and just set your timer and cover your pot and when it's done and it's nice and fluffy, take it off the stove. Now, I know I'm not doing it to boil the water away, but on this channel, we're going to show you a little bit of um, just got home from work lazy way cooking. And we're also going to explain to you the proper way of doing and performing some of these techniques. All right. So, yeah. When your quinoa is nice and fluffy, while that's cooking, we're going to get on to our next step. Now that we got our quinoa on the stove and it's uh, cooking away, we can start by getting our salmon ready. Um, so pretty much we are taking off the skin off the salmon. I know some people don't like their skin. So some of the best way to do this is make sure you put, uh, position your salmon nicely on the cutting board. Grab a corner of your salmon and do a little slit until you can get your knife nice and firm under the meat and just let the skin do the work. You don't have to push the knife or anything. All you got to do is just pull the salmon right and this, the skin will come off just nicely. You don't have to do any other cutting techniques as long as you get your 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 blade underneath the meat all you got to do is pull on the skin and go back and forth with the skin and it should come off nice and clean like you see here on the video now that the skin is all off for some of you who like the your salmon skin there's some alternative when it comes to air fryer you can also crisp up your skin in the air fryer and it will come out nice perfectly and with the air fry function and your skin will come out perfectly crispy and crunchy for those of you like um, crunching on your salmon skin. Now after that's all done and said, I'm gonna, we're going to season our salmon with a little bit of Cajun spice and we're going to proceed to put it in our air fryer and our set our temperature to the desired um, temp and timer and just let it go until we get our nice golden oh, beautiful salmon and ready to go and when that's all said and done we will be prepping our quinoa salad 
So hopefully at this point our quinoa is off the stove and resting in the corner. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get the salmon in and then we'll check on our quinoa and we'll go from there. Now you see me use a, little, use a little bit of foil paper on the bottom of my air fryer pan because as I said you know I come home and do these dinners sometimes and I rarely rarely trying to do a lot of work so that's why I'm trying to make these dinners nice and simple so I'm also trying to make the cleanup as simple as possible as well all right so by doing this I can save some of the cleanup and save some of the juices from the salmon that I can later use for a little bit of I make sure the salmon stays moist and juicy as the cooking process continues now I do 20 minutes should be more than enough in an air fryer to get the outcome you're looking for in your salmon all right now that the salmon is cooking it's now for our vegetable montage so we're gonna dice her onions or peppers we're gonna chili and then dice her peppers and onions for our salad and what you guys need to do is you need to be careful with your fingers while you're cutting your vegetables and stuff right and as you can see the knife we're using is a knife that was previously sharpened in our knife uh, our beginner knife sharpening uh, class video so if you guys want to learn how to properly um, sharpen your knife from uh, industry standards and make sure your knife is always um, ready to go in any situation go check that video out I'll leave the link somewhere in the video all right and yeah all I'm saying is be careful with your fingers as you're using you can see that this knife is just going through the vegetables like butter all right so we'll show you in that video how to pretty much get your knife to this standard and you know impress uh, some of your friends and family uh, with your cooking skills when you come over They're like oh my gosh how do you get your knife so sharp just like taking classes all right so yeah we're gonna do that we're gonna check our quinoa and we're gonna get back to you enjoy Alright, 
this point our quinoa is just about finished we're going to use a little spatula to fluff our quinoa up and make sure it's uh, a nice consistency that we want and we're just going to cover it and we're going to um, leave it off the stove and use the excess steam that's in the pot just to finish uh, finish the cooking process until we're ready to add it to the rest of our salad. Alright now that our quinoa is to the side we're using we're actually using some canned beans today we can use fresh beans but it'll just take me longer to prepare those at this moment as I told you we're just doing some simple home cooked dinner so canned beans is more than enough um, make sure you drain your canned beans make sure you wash them and we after you wash them we will add them to our salad the rest of our vegetables that we previously chopped up and ready to go Now that your beans are washed and ready to go, we're going to add them to our bowl and we're going to give them a nice mix so everything's nicely incorporated and looking pretty. You can also add some green onions to this if you want, some parsley, some chopped parsley to give it more color, more vibrant color, make it pretty and beautiful and you know, make it look good. From this point you want to start seasoning your dish by uh, add a little salt and pepper about two to three c um, about two teaspoons of salt teaspoon of pepper about half a cup of lemon juice and half a cup of olive oil and that is my seasoning you can add a touch of your Cajun spice if you want but I chose just to go um, simple with this because I still have the Cajun spice on the salmon. So yeah, a little red wine vinegar, half a cup of red wine vinegar, yeah, and you're good to go. Just give that a nice mix, give it a taste, adjust the seasoning as you see fit, and you're ready to go. And we can add our quinoa after that and give that a nice mix to incorporate everything. And when everything's tasting good and nice, we can start plating. Now, as you can see with this dish, I don't have um, I don't have a sauce that I'm I'm pairing with this food. So, all we're doing is using uh, the juices from our salad, right? And let that flow on the plate, and that would be nice enough. We can hit it with a little bit of olive oil after on the plate, but it's completely up to you. I know some people don't know, don't like a lot of oil in their food, so. You can, as another option, you can use some uh, lemon wedges as well. You know, bring out some of those um, natural flavors.
All right, our salad is ready to go. Our salmon is finished. It's time to get this all on a plate and see how it looks. Now for what you guys are been waiting for, we are at the end. Our quinoa, beautiful quinoa salad came together. It's tasting fabulous. Your salmon is finished. It's nice and golden brown, looking good. I got my quinoa on a plate. I did, I chose to do a little bit of parsley around the edges. Um, just a nice um, portion size of quinoa across the plate. Now you can do many designs when it comes to this. Um, it's up to your preferences. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be anything restaurant um, style, you know, presentation. So I'm just hitting the plate with a little bit of quinoa. We're gonna layer salmon, a nice uh, juicy salmon on top. Uh, there, I might just say, our moist salmon on top. And a little bit of microgreens. Now once that's said and done, I didn't do it here because we don't like a lot of uh, oil or other excess on the plate. You know, if you feel like you need to, you can put a lemon wedge. You know so you can sprinkle a little bit more for extra flavor on your salmon a little bit of drizzle of olive oil um, yeah and make sure your area is clean down and nice <laughs> and yeah pretty much that is our dish for today our simple home cooked dinner hope you guys like it hope you guys um, share subscribe and come back for more videos like this all right I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching our videos. Check out some of our other food related videos. Definitely sh uh, check out our food related shorts. And we'll see you guys next time. Nothing but love. Peace.